Today I'm going to explain how layers work. It's easy to digest and perfect for beginners that are new to ProPress and also your understanding of layers, what you'll learn today is also applicable in Photoshop or any other digital art based program. So firstly, when you create a canvas, it's going to tell you how many layers you can use in that particular canvas. You can also check this number in an existing canvas by going up to your actions, going to the canvas tab and pressing on canvas information. In there, then you'll find the layers tab and it will show you the maximum amount of layers that you can have on this canvas, how many you've used and how many you've got left. Your iPad will actually be the deciding factor on how many layers you can have. But a simple rule though otherwise is the larger the canvas, the less amount of layers you can have and the smaller the canvas, the more amount of layers you can have. Layers stack on top of each other vertically, just as if you were to stack paper on top of each other. Now your layers in Procreate have a background color, usually white and you can change this to any color you want, but I'm gonna leave it as white and it's demonstrated by this piece of paper. This is gonna be our canvas. If we were to then go ahead and draw a triangle on a new layer, and then we were to go ahead and then place a new layer above it and draw a circle on top, if the circle overlaps the triangle partly or fully, then the triangle won't show or part of the triangle won't show. Notice how you can see that in the demonstration. Now in Procreate, if you were to draw the same triangle and you were to draw the same circle on the same layer, notice if you use your cursor and then try to move everything around, because it's on one layer, it moves both items at the same time. So if you wanna move just the circle individually, you're a bit stuck. It's on the same layer as the triangle. This could be a real pain if you were into a big piece and later on in the design process you wanted to move something. In a similar example, if you wanted to make the circle smaller, you could go up to your cursor icon and if you were to scale this up or down, you would actually go ahead and scale both items up or down. However, if they were on individual layers, you can then scale any item up or down without affecting the other. Likewise, moving a layer around as well on the screen. So when you're creating your art, consider is this a new item every single time and should it be on a new layer? And you can use the plus icon in the top right of your layers to create a new layer. And you can also rearrange layers by holding your finger or pen on that layer and you can drag it up and down in your layers panel to rearrange them. Layers provide you with a huge amount of flexibility throughout the entire journey of your design. If you're interested in how clipping masks work in Procreate, you can hit the video on the screen now. Or you can check out this playlist I've made, which has got a bunch of how-to videos in Procreate. Maybe there'll be something in there that you also want to learn on how to use Procreate. And if there's something you would like me to demonstrate, drop a comment in the comments down below. On your way down, drop a like on the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.